Okay, continuing on with our discussion of compressors, in the last one, I said, well, you know, it's a prime mover. It's the power behind the refrigeration and air conditioning system. It moves the gases through, changes its pressure, and so on. Okay, now, there's a couple of different kinds of compressors out there. I've got one here, this is a Hermetic. It's a welded Hermetic. I'm gonna be taking this apart. You can see I've cut the weld on it. Uh, this is a throwaway compressor. These things fail, they're done. You pitch it and you get a new one. Uh, the other two types are semi-Hermetic, which is a, and I don't have any of those here. Uh, I've got one, but it's all tore apart, so you're not gonna see it. Uh, a semi-hermetic is similar to a hermetic in that it's all enclosed, except you can unbolt it. The other one is the open compressor. The open compressor looks more like an air compressor in a shop than anything else. It's got a separate motor, it's got a compressor, it's either belt or direct drive, and usually only used in very large systems, and uh, not many of those anymore. But you did used to see open compressors, pretty much not anymore. This thing has taken over virtually all the compressor market, except some very large ones. A couple of things about this. This is a train, and it's a piston compressor. And I think this is two, two cylinder opposed. One of the things about these compressors is how do you cool these things? They have a motor, and this one here is three horse. How do you get these things, keep these things cool? Well, an open compressor oftentimes just had a fan over it that blew air across it to cool it. But these don't have that. These are almost entirely cooled by returning suction gas. This is a suction line here. It tore up stuff. Yeah. Uh, and the returning wet gas when I say wet gas, I mean it's gas, but it's kind of a fog of refrigerant, oil, and just gas. So when that comes back in, in the suction side, you know, suction side here, discharge here, it comes and it hits the motor windings. That's the first thing it hits. And so that cool gas is there to cool this compressor. That's really the only way these things are cool. Uh, there is some heat that is taken out of the can itself, but it's not very much compared to how much is in it. So these things are cooled by that returning gas. In the next video, I'm gonna start, I'll tear this thing apart, we'll take a look inside, and we'll see if we can figure out what some of the components do inside this and, and a few things on how it uh, protects itself. That's it on this one.